Hello, this is Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger with another California report. Ever since taking office, I've strived to make government more efficient and to terminate waste, fraud, and abuse. This is especially important as we struggle to close another $20 billion budget deficit. Every dollar of waste that we can eliminate is a dollar that can go to schools, to parks, to infrastructure, and other important programs. And that is why, for instance, I launched our Waste Watcher website so that state employees who are on the front lines can report waste and abuse. Now, last year, we eliminated a dozen unnecessary boards and commissions, and we adopted tough reforms to our health and welfare programs to stop those gaming the system. And here's another good example. Just this week, I met with my state and consumer services agency. They told me some of the great work that they are doing to save taxpayer dollars. For example, selling surplus state vehicles has brought in millions of dollars of savings. Or reducing the number of employees who are permitted to bring home those state vehicles has saved us also millions of dollars in fuel costs. Or making state buildings more energy efficient will save more than a million dollars a year into the future. Or by reforming our contracting process to ensure we get the most bang for the buck, we have saved over $150 million since 2003. Now here's another one. Right now the state pays for 100,000 cell phones for various different state workers. Nothing wrong with that. But now for the first time we are going to go through each of those phone bills, see where we can find savings, and check for any overcharges, which of course happens all the time. Now this would save the taxpayers $12 million a year. You see what I'm saying? Those are the kind of creative things that we can do. Now these are just a few of the examples just from one agency. Imagine if we win our fight to adopt common sense reforms to all areas of government, like pensions or prisons and so on. I mean, along with when we have prison reform and we can go and have prisons be run by private companies, we could save billions of dollars right there. Or pension reform, the ones that we are trying to do right now and working with labor to roll back our pensions for public employees to the 1999 level pre-SB 400. That will save us also billions of dollars every year. I guarantee our budget problem will be much less if we do all of those kind of things. And that is why rather than raising taxes, which a lot of the, the politicians are talking about up there in Sacramento, rather than raising taxes and rather than Sacramento pointing its gun at taxpayers and demanding even more money, Sacramento must first look inward and do everything it can to reduce the costs and to make government more efficient. That's what we are fighting for. That's all part of the budget uh, reforms and it's all part of the budget discussions since we are doing right now the budget. But talking about the budget, let me tell you something. I'm really disappointed of what's going on in Sacramento. And I'll tell you why. Because I handed in my budget. The governor has to hand in his budget on May 14th. Exactly at that day, I handed in the budget. Every year, for the last seven years, we have done that on time. And what does the legislature do? They then wait. And then they have talks and public hearings and discussions. Kabuki. And then, when they're finished with that, they go home on vacation. You see, that's the problem. Rather than staying at the Capitol and fulfilling their responsibility to go and to get a budget done, to negotiate and negotiate until we have the budget done, and then go home on vacation. No. They do their hearings, they show that they are working, and then they go home on vacation. So now there's the legislative leaders there in Sacramento, in our office, we are working with all of them, we work through all the difficulties and through the reforms we want to do. So that's what's going on right now. So we are trying to do it as fast as we can, and hopefully the legislators can come back from their vacation as soon as possible. Maybe beginning of August they come back so we can get this done once and for all and vote on a budget. I think the people expect that, and they deserve a budget on time. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you for listening.